Hey, good morning again from South Africa. You know, something different today. We have done some, had some real good luck the first two or three days here on a big game. We've, uh, we've gotten the Golden Gims buck. Presley got a monster water buck, really good white blessed buck. Uh, I've gotten a nice black spring buck as well as a really, really good world class common spring buck. So, We'll slow down on the big stuff a little bit. I think the girls are going, uh, getting the massages today. You got somebody coming from the spa uh, here at Turu Lodge. They, uh, people from the local area, come out here to this to this spa here on site. So they're going to do that today. And Presley and Jake and I are going sand grouse hunting. Not not real sure how that takes place. I, we're going to learn as we go this morning. They've got the shotguns and everything ready. So I'm going to do that, take the rifles with us in case we come up on something else. But it should be a fun, relaxing morning. All right, y'all, we got set up. We'll be sand grouse hunting. There's several different species of doves here, too. This is going to be fun. Where we are, it's set up at a... Around a watering hole, you saw the water, there's a uh, windmill there that pumps water into the reservoir tank and then it flows out into a water hole right there. Lots of birds around it there right now. But what they've done, they've got these little stick blinds built around. You see the guys are over here fixing up one. Hear a lot of doves right now, boy. It's a beautiful, quiet morning out here, man. Fun way to kind of get off the truck and sit and relax and enjoy the enjoy a morning. Jake's gonna be right over there, setting him up. It'll be just pretty much similar to our dove hunting back at home. I'm gonna try to video the boys shooting some and uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can't shoot a couple. All right, y'all, I had to put my shotgun down a little bit and we'll try to video Jake and Preston. We're shooting the heck out of these sand grouse. They just keep coming in. I'm gonna try to video this a little bit. This is a fast and furious, fast as you can reload action here. Got them, got them landing in the spread. Birds are everywhere, y'all, and it seems the more we shoot, the more come in here. I have no idea how many we've killed, but there's a bunch of them. Barrels are hot. Presley got two. I should have had my gun up right there. They came right in on me. Some more coming in toward Jake. Need a cameraman out here with me. They'll circle a few times and they'll always lose a little elevation. They circle and circle, not like a dove. There's tons of them, feathers falling right here. Hope y'all can hear them on here. They got a distinct sound they make. A big group right there. Trying to circle. If they circle back here, I'm gonna throw this camera down. Yep, 
Yep. Should have smoked him. Couldn't find a more pretty place for a bird hunt, man. Fun dove hunt at home, but it ain't quite like this. These things you hear them coming. You don't ever hear a dove coming until it's too late. Picked up one so y'all could see it. It's a beautiful bird. Look at this thing. Just like a just like a big pigeon to me, but boy, they've got just beautiful colors. Look at that. I probably need to be shooting those right there, guys. Landed right by the water hole. I'm going to put my camera down and shoot this old big dove that just flew in, too. Oh, hang on. He lit over there. He's coming back. Alright, y'all. The sand grass hunt's over. I'm sorry I didn't get the video more, but too much fun, too many birds in there. They were constantly flying in. It's like hunting a, a dove that you can hear coming in. You can hear these things calling. They just come right on in over it. I mean, it's, it's almost like the more we shot, the better it was. Let me show y'all kind of how it's set up here. That water hole right there where Simon's setting up the birds for a picture. And got several different blinds set up around right here of course jake was over there they got a pile of them too we're just having to kind of make a big round out here looking for them a lot of them that were wounded they'll go up in these little bushes and got to kind of walk around make sure you kick them out i'll tell you what i've had done a whole lot of dove hunting home we do something boy that right there is fun because they just keep coming it seems like the more uh oh more we shot the more they just kept coming in it didn't stir them up the only thing that would flare them if somebody got out and walked around away from those little blinds that was the only thing otherwise they just come right in on you if you let them get get down there low and get a high percentage shot we went through a lot of shells but shooting that little 20 gauge light on your shoulders lots of fun all right i'm gonna keep making around out there here looking for some more birds i think we might have got them all we wouldn't have lost much the uh the trackers and the, our PH were sitting right over there. They were sitting right over there under the windmill by the truck watching. They were probably laughing at us for all the shots we missed, especially early on until we kind of got our range. There's more birds coming in right there. Just keep coming. There's two right there. They really want to get into this water. We're in the Kalahari Desert. Winter time is, of course, in the desert anyway, so it's really dry. So uh, it's really wherever there's water, you find lots of game. And we ride around in these mountains and out on this property. Kind of the road system kind of circulates around to the water holes. That's where the game are gonna be at least a couple times a day. I'm gonna pick these birds up. Let's see what we got over here. Simon's been stacking them up. They're still walking out, making a big loop. Let's see if they find any stragglers. You can see the doves in here too. Some kind of, I don't know what it is, some kind of long, they got a long tail. It's not like our morning dove at home. Long black tail. More grouse coming in right here. Hope y'all can hear that. They got a distinct sound. Pretty cool. They let you know they're coming. Well, we were through bird hunting, but we had the big bird come in. Let's see if y'all can see the emu over there. Trying to make him gobble. I don't believe that in a gobble.
neat looking animal. All right, we're going to set the camera down and take some pictures and we'll get into something else this afternoon. I'll keep this video going for today. It's going to be a good day. All right, y'all, didn't take us long. One of the things Presley had on his list was a black wildebeest. They've been seeing a group of six males. I actually saw them way over in another mountain range yesterday, probably a couple of them two, three miles from where we just saw them. We made a big loop around this, uh, I get out of sight of them. We're probably three quarters of a mile from them and they're looking at us. So we drove the truck on around to get out of sight. We'll go up on this ridge here. The bulls were around this corner here, probably half a mile. We suspect they're moving this way across this ridge. So we're gonna get up here. Might look up and uh, Maybe Presley will have some luck. There's one really big bull in this group. Really big bull. So I'll give it a shot.
Boom. Boom. Got him. Keep eye on him. Ooh. Boom. One shot and down. A beauty. Great black little beast. Got him, P. I was right over your shoulder. I could see him. Can you see him? Yes, right yes, right over. Yeah, oh yeah, you can see him drop. Oh yeah. They drop down to him. That looked like a really big, big bull. Preston them saw these bulls yesterday. Several miles from here, we think. And just could not get them to stand still. Wildebeest depend on their eyes. And when they, just from such a long, they'll watch you from miles away in the truck, but we got ahead of them and got above them. Something spooked them a little bit. There's so many other animals, the spring buck. Just everything when it's I think some of them just run to be running. It's also a little hot so the flies are bothering them a little bit. So. Have to get lucky every once in a while, but also gotta get in a position to have some luck. So Preston made a shot when he needed to. neat critter y'all I killed a big one several years back in the free state this is a really really quality bull here 